User experience, we already talked about that, and your page speed is a huge factor. This is one of our clients that we did. Um, they had a 17-page score. We just it, we implemented a caching policy, which was a, a plugin, and another image compression uh, policy, and cleaned up some stuff on our website and got them up to the 98 within like an hour. So it's not that big of a deal if you're not scoring really high. It's just a really cool opportunity for you to figure out how to make your website score even higher. And if you're competitive like me, I got I had to be pulled from that department of my company because I'm just like <clears throat> refreshing things. Um, backlinks. Anybody heard of backlinks? Know what they are? Don't know what they are? Backlinks aren't as big of a ranking factor as they traditionally were, but they're still a very important part of your SEO. Um, a backlink is just another website that's referring to your website. So all of the business directories that you should be set up on if you're doing SEO, all your social media channels, everywhere that has your business name, your address, the NAP, your name, address, phone number, and your website is considered a backlink. The more authoritative the websites are, the better backlink it is. So don't buy backlinks from some guy on Fiverr. You're going to negatively affect your SEO score. It happens all the time. Spammy backlinks are one of the things that's going to get you blacklisted off the search engine. So don't do it. Quality over quantity. And internal links, very important for your site structure and the silo of how people read the information or user experience. If you have a water damage restoration service page, you should be linking to a blog about what to do when you have water damage. And within that blog, you should be linking to your Google business profile, to a post that is that same blog. And then from that post, you should be linking back to your website and within, and with, you should be just keep them on your website as long as possible. One of the metrics that you should be looking at on your Google Analytics monthly with your agency are your bounce rates. How, fat, how much time are they spending on each page? And those are important for conversions, right? The longer they spend on your website, probably the better you're converting, right? And you're giving them more information.